Raw Stuff with Roger. Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing some drawing with, that's just a studio eraser and a pink pencil. I think it's got some roses on it. It's probably just from the dollar store. I found it with all my other pencils. So we're going to start with a square. Pretty simple. And we're just going to do a bunch more squares. So just stay with me until it turns into something and you realize what it is. So we're going to do that square. Then another little tiny square on top. We're going to do one right about there. And you can kind of see something forming right now. And we're going to do another one that's kind of off the back. And then we're going to go straight down. And then this is kind of looks like a, like a triangle almost. But the top is that square. So this shape is a little more complex than just a square. But it's not too tricky. And then we're going to do a little triangle coming off the back. And one square. And then a square a little bit smaller. So a little bit of a difference there. And then one line. And then here we're going to do some steps. So it kind of looks like this. So it kind of looks like it's just two steps. Right about there. And you see how that kind of ends up looking like a back leg? Yeah, it's pretty good. And eventually we'll put some curves in it when we shade it in. So the most important part of this is always just to have fun. If your puppy dog does not end up looking like this puppy dog, that is totally okay. It does not make a difference as long as it makes you happy to make. So we're going to erase some of these lines that we made now. I know it feels kind of weird to do that as part of drawing, but you know, a lot of artists, when they're doing big, big, hard art pieces, do a lot of erasing. So they'll make a lot of lines and then they'll, they'll erase a lot of those lines to get to their finished product. And that's what we're doing here. So what we want is just to kind of make it look more and more like a puppy dog. So eventually we're going to use a black marker or a pen or whatever pencil crayon or even a crayon it doesn't really matter what we use as long as it's just a little bit darker and we're only going to be doing that to make it kind of pop out a little bit to make it look just kind of neat but i think first we're going to add in some silly teeth you do not have to add these in i just thought it would be kind of silly and then we're going to put a background in here just for fun and sometimes my easy backgrounds, I make these simple looking grass where I just make pointy lines coming up and then a straight line. And then we're going to give this dog a little ball because, you know, dogs enjoy having toys. And we're going to give him some shade. And I did not realize as I was drawing this that you couldn't quite see the top of this tree. But you'll see what it looks like in a minute, I promise. I just do some squiggly lines for the top of the tree. And there you go. There it is. Pretty simple, really. And again, if your tree doesn't look like my tree, that's okay. There is no problem if your tree looks completely different. Trees in different parts of the world always look different anyway. So here's my Sharpie. I enjoy using a Sharpie or just even a black pen. Now make sure if you're using a Sharpie not to color other things and to watch out that sometimes it'll bleed through the paper and get on the table. So I'm doing it in a book so I don't have to worry about that too much. And as I'm drawing here you can see I'm kind of rounding out the lines a little bit. I'm making them look just a little bit more like a dog's would look. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm making some fur. See these two little jaggedy lines? 
kind of like the grass, but smaller. That's how you give kind of the idea of fur. Because the brain will fill in a lot of things. So when you draw things like fur, sometimes you don't have to draw a lot. Sometimes just a little bit to give you the idea of fur. And then the whole thing looks like it's fur. It's kind of neat how that works. And then we're going to give this pup a little background. Now, you can give this puppy really big ears or really big eyes or a really big nose, depending on how you want him to look. Or her. You can, you can name this pup whatever you want. I think I'm going to name this pup Dilbert. Just because I enjoy that name. So, we're going to give Dilbert some shade here by outlining the tree. And I put little lines up in the tree trunk to make it look like bark. And I put little W's to make it look like the shadows in the tree. And then we are going to call that a picture. And I hope you guys have a great week. And we'll see you again next week for some drawing fun.